you, thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. I am your host, Aldridge T. Abington. Thank you. Yes, Aldridge Let's T. Abington. See. Few men have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than I. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, Do some I have procured a show so fantastical there exists nothing like it anywhere. In an effort to bring this entertainment to even the poorest dreamer of dreams, yeah. I have determined the ticket price should be very low and the show held without a profit. To me, it's true. For it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you. Yeah! I discovered this next act in a tiny village in Italy. Truly the most exotic of places in the world. Nobody cares! He was just a ten-year-old boy. I raised him. I bathed him. I shaved him Trash. from head to toe. He is truly a wonder to behold. Presenting Benjamin Lazarus. You got no talent. and mystical prowess, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's unfortunate fact that in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer it's from all, all manner of maladies in daily life. Who here has not had a friend or loved one near death's door from coal gas fumes, typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal? The greatest crap is your health. All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate and tenuous of all life's gifts. And nothing Go knocks on. down death's door faster than this. <laughs> a man cannot outrun a bullet. Many fools have tried and failed in this endeavor, including the tonic salesman I caught betting my wife. I joke. I joke. <laughs> I assure you, he has met his maker and they are playing gin rummy among the molten lava of Hades. I have traveled all around the world, delighting young and old with all manner of feats of amazement. But none are as dangerous as what I am prepared to attempt I can't tonight. believe you charged I for this. will hand this Didi Packenbush revolver over to my assistant and stand at considerable distance across the stage. She will point the revolver at my head and pull the trigger using lightning quick reflexes taught to me by a tiny man I met him. in the distant orient. I will catch the bullet in my teeth. Yes, my teeth. To prove that these are indeed live rounds, if my sharpshooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lalicola off my head. This is insane. Yeah! Off my head. I paid money for this? Careful. I could do without a bullet in the brain right now. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> ah! <laughs> that this always scares me. <laughs> now. Observe as here. I, the great Benjamin Lazarus, will do what no man has ever done and cheat death as if it were nothing. This is off. What is he doing? Let's do that again. Take it. Get a pull on my leg. <laughs> <laughs> 
This Holy is a bunch of dang boulder dash. Ah. <laughs> a skeptic, hmm? Ah. I'm Benjamin Lazarus. I assure you, I am not participating in some hoax or carnival rules. These bullets are 100% real. We need another In fact, act. I challenge any member of the audience to come forward with their own firearm, and I will yet again display my uncanny skill to catch a bullet in my teeth. Is no one man enough? Fantastic. Yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I will prove to you I am the greatest entertainer to ever live and the only man who laughs at death. Now, ready? Take a. Oh, gotta fight this too much. This is incredible. And fire. Just an illusion, after all. of incredibility. I told you that boy would bring you all manner of personal satisfaction. He certainly does me. <laughs> now, I discovered this next remarkable woman in a lost jungle. <laughs> deep in the wilds of Colombia, where they do not wear clothes. She breathes fire. Yes, she does. And for those with the universal and not unworthy curiosity, yes, I can attest, she does emit fire Go from away. almost every orifice in her body. <laughs> Presenting Antoinette San Servino! Monster. 
<laughs> Antoinette Sansorvino, she's really uh, something, isn't she, huh? Uh, she's certainly singed Come the better on. elements of my manliness. <laughs> oh, thank you. I discovered this next woman in the kingdom Ponies. of Poland, where she sang by the roadside, subsisting on coppers tossed at her feet. Miss Robin Koninsky. Yeah. for joining us today. This here was a new song about a so-called modern improvement you may have become aware of called the telephone. Yeah. This new machine will carry a facsimile of your voice from Blackwater to Valentine to San Denis, and they propose to distribute them to all manner of places so that no matter where you are, somebody is looking for you. A wise man prayed that one day we may Absolute all eventually be garbage. gathered together in a heaven of everlasting rest and peace and bliss. Except for the inventor of this lady the telephone. Is crazy. Because someone is always calling, saying, Hello! Hello! Hello. I've got a little baby, but he's out of sight. I talk to him yeah, across baby. the telephone. I can't see my honey, but he's mine all right. This gal just can't leave a man alone. Every single morning you will hear me yell. He sends you picks me up along the line. Woo! He connect me with my honey and I ring my bell. And this is what I say to baby mine. Blackwater calling. Hello. This morning through the phone they said he'd been with Bess right. and told me exactly where he's at. Now I'm headed out of town to his address. That man better hold on right, his hat. I sure do worry that the wires might get crossed and it will separate me from my baby mine. Yeah, and so 
What a fine tune. She is a siren, yes. singing from the rocks as men bash into them to their doom. Thank you for joining me for tonight's yeah. entertainment. I hope it has delayed for at least a moment the crushing and remorseless misery of this mortal coil. Good night, dream well, and come back soon. Hey there! Well, I don't think there's anything Better else I can here. help you with. You sure brighten up the place? <laughs> 